Okay guys, let us solve some more questions on nth root and indices. So we have this question, what is the value of x? You have the left hand side of this equation as a by b raised to x minus 1 and the right hand side is equals to b by a raised to x minus 3. Well, if I write the right hand side's number as a by b then I'll have to change the power. I'll have to add a negative sign to the power. So minus of x minus 3. So both of these values mean the same thing. I've just inverted or swapped the numerator and denominator. Hence I'll have to change the power sign to negative. So on the left hand side I have a by b raised to x minus 1. Well these numbers are same so I can directly write x minus 1 is equals to minus of x minus 3. Therefore x minus 1 is equals to minus x plus 3. Therefore x comes to the left so 2x is equals to 1 goes to right it becomes 3 plus 1 which is 4. Therefore x is equal to 2. So the answer is option C. Now let us solve the second question. If root of 2 raised to n is 64, what is the value of n? Well, we can write 2 raised to n taken under root as 2 raised to n raised to power 1 by 2. And that is, we can write 2 raised to power n by 2. On the right hand side, we have 64. Now what power of 2 is 64? Let us find that out. Let us write 64 as a product of its prime factors. So I have 64. If I divide it by 2, I get 32. Then again divided by 2, I get 16. Again dividing by 2, I get 8. And dividing by 2, 4. Then 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 raised to 6 as 64. So on the left hand side, I have 2 raised to n by 2. On the right hand side, I have 2 raised to power 6. Therefore, now these numbers are same, so I can write n by 2 is equal to 6. So therefore, n is equal to 6 times 2, and that is 12. So the, so the value of n is equal to 12. So moving on to the third question. What is the value of n if this expression is given to you? Well, let us express all of these terms in this expression in powers of 3. So I can write this as 9 is 3 square. So this becomes 3 raised to 2 raised to n times 3 raised to 5 times 27 is 3 cube. So 3 cube raised to 3 divided by 3 times 81 is 9 square. Let's express 81 in terms of 3. So 81 is 9 times 9. So 9 is 3 square times 3 square is again 9. So this is 81 is 3 raised to 4. So I can write 81 as 3 raised to 4. Then it is raised to 4. Now equals to on the right hand side I have 27. 27 is 3 cube. So it is 3 cube. Now this is equivalent to 3 raised to 2n times 3 raised to 5 times 3 raised to 3 times 3. So 3 raised to 9 divided by 3 times 3 raised to 4 fours are 16. So 3 raised to 16 equals to 3 cube. Now we have multiplication in the numerator we can use the law of indices this can be written as 3 raised to 2n plus 5 plus 9 divided by in the denominator I can write 3 raised to this is 1 plus 16 so 3 raised to 17 is equals to 3 cube this again can be simplified to we have the law of indices of a by b so I can write 3 raised to 2n plus 5 plus 9 minus 17 it is equals to 3 raised to 3 
Now these terms are same. So I can write 2n plus 5 plus 9 minus 17 is equals to 3. Basically this term and this term. So therefore I can write 2n is equals to 3 plus 17 minus 5 minus 9. And that is 3 plus 17 is 20 minus 5 is 15 minus 9 is 6. So 2n is equals to 6. Therefore n is equals to 6 by 2 that is 3. So n's value is 3. Let us now solve the final question. If the value of x is given, then what is the value of root x minus 1 by root x? So we have been given the value of x and if we take the root of x, we don't get much of help here because we cannot evaluate root of 3 plus 2 root x. So we have to find out some ways to remove this root x, to reduce this root x to simple x. So how we can do that? Well, if we square this complete term, if we write root x minus 1 by root x whole square, then we may get rid of the root sign. So let's try squaring this. So this is equals to root x square minus twice of root x into 1 by root x. So 2 root x into 1 by root x. I'm using the formula a minus b square equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So a square minus 2ab plus b square. b is 1 by root x. So 1 by root x square. So this is equal to root x square is x minus 2 root x and this root x gets cancelled out. So minus 2 plus 1 by root x whole square is 1 by x. Now I can put the value of x here. So x is 3 plus 2 root 2. So 3 plus 2 root 2 minus this 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 2 root 2. 3 plus 2 root 2. So this is equal to 3 minus 2 is 1. So I have 1 plus 2 root 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 2 root 2. So let us get rid of the denominator 3 plus 2 root 2. So with reference to this term 1 by 3 plus 2 root 2, I can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3 minus 2 root 2. So rest of the terms are as they are 1 plus 2 root 2 plus I have 1 by 3 plus 2 root 2. I can multiply the numerator and denominator by 3 minus 2 root 2 by 3 minus 2 root 2. Essentially the value does not change. So the rest of the terms are as they are. So in the numerator I have 3 minus 2 root 2 divided by in the denominator I have a plus b times a minus b which is a square minus b square. So 3 square is 9 minus 2 root 2 square so which is 4 times 2 and that is 8. So 9 minus 8 is again 1 so the term is as it is. So let us solve this 1 plus 2 root 2 plus 3 minus 2 root 2. So 2 root 2 and minus 2 root 2 are 0. 1 plus 3 is 4. Now keep in mind that this is the value of root x minus 1 by root x whole square. But that is not what we want. We want the value of root x minus 1 by root x. So taking under root on both the sides I get root x minus 1 by root x is equal to under root of 4. And under root of 4 is 2. So the value that we've got is 2. So option B is the right answer.